Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to install change detection.io on Portainer stacks with your Docker Compose underneath. So, this makes it where you can watch a website, and if it changes, uh, you can get notified. So, a uh, really neat program to learn how to use. So, I'm going to go over that. So, uh, so, so this series is about home labs. We're going to install things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And Let's get started. So this is what we will be installing today. A website chat change detection for clever people. It's used by shoppers and different things to figure out if things are changed on website. So a notification for target the elements that you want uh, changed. Uh, browser steps, restock alerts. So, um, we're going to be installing the open source version. So, a ch change detection now is a fully open source project. We rely on financially support. So, there you go. And we're going to get installing it. So, you can see it right here and you can see how it works. It's pretty neat. So, you can recheck, edit, pr preview, different things like that. So, we'll get to uh, explain the Docker Compose next. So I built the Docker Compose and it'll be down in the description to get to the get a GitHub guest. So version three of Docker Compose, so a service is underneath, and then we're gonna start up a change detection service. And then we're gonna use the image on Linux server and change detection.io and on the latest tag right here. So we're gonna name the container ch change detection. We're going to set some environment variables, so user ID and group ID, and then set your own time zone here. And then you can set a base URL, but that's optional. We're going to have a volume, so all the checks can be stored in there. So I'm going to do data, change detection, and the config. And then that's going to be in the host side. And then inside the container, actually, it's going to be a config. So, and then we're gonna set some ports. So on the host side, it's 5,000. On the container side, it's 5,000. And you can change the host side if you need to, if it collides with something. Well, we're gonna set up a, re a restart policy. So unless stops, so that means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. So, that's the Docker Compose. So now we're going to copy it and I'm going to go over to Portainer. So now uh, we're going to go to our Portainer installation. And if you don't have Portainer installed, I've done a couple of videos and it'll be up there for the playlist. I'm going to go to home and then local. And then I'm going to go to stacks right here. I'm going to go to add stack up here. And all stacks are is a uh, Portainer's version of a Docker Compose underneath. So now I'm going to name the stack. I'm going to name it Change Detection um, Stack. Okay, now I'm going to paste in what I just explained in the last. And this is got off my guest that I created. So you can go down there and, and copy and paste it here. So. Once that's done, it's going to have it on port uh, 5000. So it's going to be your portainer's IP and then the port 5000 on the end. So I'm going to deploy this stack. It is now deployed. So let's go into here. Let's go to editor and you can see you can change anything like here and then you can update the stack. You can repull the image if you'd like. So this repulls the image off of Linux server and then redeploys it. So there you go, it's updated. Okay, now it's been running for a few seconds. I'm gonna go into logs and it can looks like it's running. So I'm gonna go backwards. If you ever wanna know what ports are open, so 5,000 and 5,000 container. So that's how you know. And you can see the volumes down here. So data, change detection, config. 
So, and it created a change detection stack network down here. So I'm going to go to the change detection and see if it's up. So we're going to go to change detection now since it is up and it's been running for a few seconds now. I'm going to go over to uh, the the IP address. So the IP address is going to be the Portainer's IP address because it, it, it's inside of Portainer uh, running. And then uh, if you remember on the Docker and Pose, we listened on the 5000 port for the host side and it's listening on the container side on 5000. So I'm going to go in here and you can see it's up and it, it's last checked one minute ago so you can recheck them so it's checking uh y combinator and then it's checking a, ch a change detection for the change log right here so that's how to get change detection io up and running on portainer when you install ch a change detection it's open for anybody to, uh, to go to so i'm going to go up to settings and then I'm going to see password protection down here. And I'm going to just type in a password. And you can either allow the uh, the diff pa page when password is enabled or not. So you can go ahead and save. And then now whenever you go to the, the, um, the website now, you'll be presented with this password page. So I'm going to go ahead and put my password in and see if it works and it looks like it works and now we have a more secure installation. So in your port uh, portainer's installation, you can SSH into it or uh, or what however you do it in Proxmox, you can go to the console. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to just see what's in there. So, the data directory is in here. So, I'm going to go to uh, da data and then change detection right here. So, I'm going to go here and then I'm going to ls again, so config, and then now I'm gonna see all the URL watches here, the JSON files, and you can see this, uh, the backup, the secrets, different things like that. So that's how to get into here. So I'm gonna cut out the one, so you can see that that's the watch of, of, that, of that one uh, watch right there. So that's how to see the files in change detection. So I just went over step by step on getting uh, change detection.io self hosted running in Portainer stacks, which are Docker Compose underneath. So this makes it to where uh, you can keep track of websites and what they're doing if, they, if anything changes. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or uh, you have questions or need support, you know, the Big Bear community and join our Discord. And I'll be glad to help you as much as possible. So stay tuned for more.